it's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we'll see this team's versatile running back. He looked real good a week ago with almost 160 yards. It's the Tigers and the Bulls, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League finds us down under in the beachside city of Melbourne, Australia. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Bulls of Buenos Aires taking on our home team. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, think about this Melbourne club entering play. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. And the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. Meanwhile, for the visiting Argentinians, they come into this one after a loss in the opener, and they're in for a no The first game's out of the way. Time to buckle down for the long season ahead, and we're off in week two. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be let out by their six-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Here's second and 10. Off the play fake, Phillips. Throw left side complete. That's Schaefer. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. On third down, it's Schaefer. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out. How vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. Now a second and ten. Up the middle they go. Schaefer. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And here's Marshall, and he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Phillips throwing on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and three. Off play action, Phillips. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Looking to throw. Phillips working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely, as one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. Phillips. 
That one's taken in by Spears. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Well, whatever script they put together for this offensive drive, Charles, seems to be working. I'm curious to see if this defense will make any adjustments here. Things certainly going according to plan, aren't they? I mean, the way they're advancing the football, it's like they're on the practice field having one of their better days. But instead, it's game day, and they're moving the ball downfield with purpose. From the 20, here's a second and four. Now a handoff up the middle. Schaefer, and he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. Well, we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Looking to throw. Phillips. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. Being chased out left. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. They'll try to run this one in. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Bulls get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6-4. I think the hope was to let him sit and learn for a bit, but he was thrown right into the fire in week one. Now we'll see what kind of lessons he's learned as he prepares for his second start in the NFL. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue, just make sure you feed me the football? And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, let's get the obvious out of the way. Yes, travel is going to be an issue, but... Take that aside. How cool is this? An NFL relocation franchise down under here in Australia. It seems hard to believe, but it is now a reality. And what a home field advantage this is going to be. You know, get it across midfield down to the 49. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. From the gun, he'll hand this off, and he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Here now a third down and eight. He'll look to throw. Able to shake him off, but he can't get away forever, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, 
And it's going to lead him to fourth down. So they bring out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Taking it about the 16. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra entry. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Phillips now going to throw again. Over the middle complete. It's Marshall. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Off the play fake. Phillips. And that is incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Pulled in at the 24. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And a week ago, as you get a look at the numbers, well over 100 yards, he was on fire. He was on fire. Obviously, the offensive line was on fire. All the guys were trying to assist him. But you know who else was? The play caller. Because his ego totally got out of the way. And he kept calling the plays that were working over and over. And they really didn't stop him. Now the challenge, can they duplicate it? Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. That's about as exciting of a one-yard run as you're going to see. Finding a way to dodge that first would-be tackler, but again, just one yard out of it. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's our home team with possession. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. Hands it off out of the gun. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. But now he appears to be in some pain. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Third down and six. Back to throw here. Well, that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. And on now is the punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Out of the gun now on third down. A quick throw there is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And they'll send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 
Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Melbourne's offense back out on the field now. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Second and nine now. Escapes the defender. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. That's caught by Ware. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A nice little juke. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They have punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. He'll look to throw. Got a man him in stride. Touchdown! A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Tigers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. They'll start on the ground here on first down. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw, Phillips to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Second down and six now. Looking to throw, Phillips, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll look to throw again. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And it's caught. Touchdown. A big play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And his guys have taken the lead. All you hear from coaches and personnel directors in the NFL, how difficult it is for a rookie receiver to have an impact on the game. So much to learn, so much offense to absorb. Looks like he's picking it up pretty well. I would say so. And how about that for your first career NFL touchdown? And I don't know that he envisioned it quite that way, but if he was smart, he probably dreamed about it a little bit. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The drive summary that time, five plays. 
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. They go play action here on first down. He's got it. This is where. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'll come up now third and nine. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder. If he wasn't a first round pick, they want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there. No hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Call it a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. And they bring their punter out there now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Buenos Aires offense back out now. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Back to throw. Phillips. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Manning. A gain there of 21 yards. And they were backed up to start the... Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, it's Schaefer. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Operating from the gun, Phillips over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. 
A reminder coming up at halftime. We'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. Now here's a throw that's complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Looking to throw. Phillips. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They'll run with Marshall. Down to about the 22 here. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Off play action. Phillips. This is caught. Touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bulls will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So after the disappointment in the opening week loss, Charles, this looks like really a completely different football team. They sure do, and I think they realize we can't start 0-2, and they're determined to not let it happen by the looks of things here in the early going. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 21-7. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Back out comes this offense now late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Throw left side complete. That's Collier. Now another timeout called for by the offense. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, it's looking like another three and out here, and at some point, got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit, and we're not even at halftime. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. This offense back to work now late in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Here's Phillips. Off play action. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. And now two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one. But second, you set the other guys up with great field position and enough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. 
Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. He finds his man complete. It's Collier. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And that is no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Sorry, Coach, put a pin in that. We are going to move right on to the third quarter here. So this a two-possession ball game as we get back underway, set for the third quarter, taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. So this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you'd think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards in a first. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and 10 right now. Now back to throw. And he rifles one incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. Right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need him to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Back to throw. Phillips. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet. But they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on that. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. So possession goes over here on the punt. The Melbourne ready to go again on offense. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? 
Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll look to throw here. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Last play, they got stopped at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. A nice throw right there. And, Charles, this is game number two in the NFL for this young rookie. His guy's getting the victory last week, and he played pretty well by most accounts. Curious, what did you see? I saw something similar to what you described, Brandon, because I saw a guy who looked the part, a guy who was in command, not just with the touchdown passes, but definitely looked to be in control of the offense. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. And you get the feeling, Charles, yeah, he's got the two sacks now, but he may get more here. We still got a quarter and then some to go. And the way that he is playing this game, it reminds me of one of the best golfers in the world who can use every club in the bag and make a great shot. That's what he's doing with his pass rush moves right now, showing a little bit of everything. They have no way of stopping him. They'll set up a throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there, and how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So they bring out their putter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And that will hit and continue on out of bounds. The Buenos Aires offense back out now. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half. But the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mentally. Get back to doing what you were doing well in the beginning of the game. But a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire that sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up a lead. You think you've got it going. And you also think at any moment I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before. You and I both know it's not that easy once you get off the gas a little. Yeah, they don't want to see this lead diminish anymore. To throw is Phillips on first and 10. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. 15 yards through the air and a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And from the 34, here's second and four. Looking to throw, Phillips. He finds his man complete. That's Schaefer. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Now, things looking much rosier for him here in week two. They work with the lead as they've got it first and ten. They'll run on first down. Schaefer. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. 54 yards rushing for him now to this point. Here's second and three. Back to throw. Phillips. He finds his man complete. That's Manning. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Off the bootleg. Phillips. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. 
And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. He'll keep it himself. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Beating him there with his legs, 21 yards, first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him. And it's incomplete. Second and ten. To throw again. Phillips. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Now Phillips. Off the play fake. He finds his man complete. That's Manning. That is brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. He finds his man complete. It's Lane. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution. A six-yard gain, and it all works out. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. As we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Marshall. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Looking to throw. Phillips. And it's caught. Touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bulls go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And Melbourne ready to go again on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. They'll set up to throw. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a gain of 35. Now defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, 
You tighten up underneath in your coverage, and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Now a play fake here on first down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. This offense so far on third down, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and six. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Well, give them credit. They're going to stay and fight this out to the end. Fourth down, you've got to go for it. And they not only convert, but pick up some good yardage as well. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. And the sack leads to roughly a loss of six, and it brings up second and goal. They'll drop to throw. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. He loses a full five yards there on the sack, and it also brings up fourth down, fourth and goal. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf, incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Now second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. Schaefer. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 73 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And we'll get about three up close to the 35. Third and four. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And I don't think he got there. No. Gee, short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 
A 41-yard punt there with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Melbourne ready to go again on offense. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Again, he'll drop to throw. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. They'll look to throw again. That's caught by Ware. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And that is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back to throw again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Second and five. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. They'll look to throw. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. He'll look to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. He'll look to throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. This likely a must-have. Third and goal. Back to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. From 10 yards out. And the Tigers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. 
I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. For the Buenos Aires offense back out now. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got to the catch. And he is going to have a first down here, and that should be the one that seals a victory. And they'll indeed take a knee. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Good bounce back win. They take the knee. Can't stop the clock defensively. Tough opening week loss, but now one and one. Shows that they handled things really well. A lot of teams panic after a week one loss, and they start to think that the sky's falling. This team realized there's a long season and they feel very talented and they get it done in this one. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just the week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for Buenos Aires, they did what they needed to do. They split their first two road games of the year. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for Melbourne, they will fall to one and one, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Are you looking for high quality simulation football action? Then look no further than the greatest gridiron. Our league consists of 32 relocated franchises from around the world. We are the World Games of Simulation Football, where teams from all over the globe will compete on the greatest of gridirons. Hone your skills as a player or a member of a franchise coaching staff. Compete yearly for our illustrious Global Bowl, awards, accolades, and bragging rights as you climb the ladder of success and greatness. Are you a pro or just an average Joe? The Greatest Gridiron is looking for dedicated and passionate people to help build a league that emphasizes on trust, loyalty, and respect. Look at you. What makes you so great? This is the Greatest Gridiron where you can't stop greatness. Take flight, take flight.